follow up on my request to view one of the volunteer abdication contracts. Anna, you're supposed to be off today. I had some free time, so I thought... I've already told you, the VACs are sealed documents. My hands are tied. But isn't there some allowance for the researchers? I mean, my god, I'm the one pushing the button. Look, I understand. I really do. You wouldn't be human if this was easy. 
I just want to be sure. Believe me, everything we've done is perfectly legal. That's because Talos 1 is in extranational space. There are no laws. Anna, you're tired. It's affecting your judgment. Now, I've tolerated it for a while, but enough is enough. You need to take some time, understood? Yes, Dr. Kelstrup. I understand. Good. Oh, look, you've made me late for a meeting with Alex. so I can serve you better next time. Hello. Are you here for an appointment?
Cheers. <laughs> out an airlock, you know. I'm sure. Are you having second thoughts? No way. I'm in. It's just... I'm not the one incriminating myself. There's no happy ending for me either way. I'm trying not to think about it. Sorry. Did you make arrangements? Mitchell's on board. He's gonna bring me food. I don't need to know the details. Better that way. It has to happen on your next rotation. I put everything in the labeled mementos. The package is in my cabin. It's got to go to every media outlet imaginable. Got it. And Quinton, be careful. Security is already scrutinizing me more than usual. Fascinating. There's something almost angelic about those golden filaments, like frozen light. The Typhon wave it out of thin air. The question is why? We have a lot of theories, but no solid answers. Not yet. I wish you were with me, Morgan. Not the way you are now. The way you used to be. I know we could tackle this together. Like old times. through the walls. 
Son of a bitch is gloating, I know it. How are you holding up? I dropped a couple of nightlights to lure the phantoms away. Put sticky notes on every goddamn thing I'm sure isn't a mimic. You? Good. Safe inside the armory. Squashed a mimic that slipped in, but that's it. I got everything sealed tight. What's our plan? Wait for rescue? <laughs> you know, if we make it, Alex is just going to pull our mods. You want to remember this shit? I think we could get out through the guts. Work our way up to the Arboretum. <sighs> okay. Say the word. In light of what we now know the Typhon are capable of, and not capable of, it seems prudent to revisit the Project Cobalt material. Igor, neuromods can already adapt Typhon material to the human mind. There's no reason in principle the reverse wouldn't work. Say you managed to insert human neurons into a Typhon. How will you know it was successful? The new neural structures would need to mature over a series of actual experiences, or simulated ones. Or simulate the experiences. Calvino, he has... Right, okay, look, it's fascinating, but let's focus on what we know is working. I don't want anyone devoting resources to this. No type of material detected. Thank <laughs> you. 
Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit can handle. I'll have you feeling better soon. There. All the... Hello, Dr. Yu. Hello. Should I change position? Scientists here were in the middle of something when they died. Access to the guts is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon, but this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own. No language. They don't even seem to see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. I'm generalizing when I say us, of course. I'm not a person. Not like you. Live exam procedure in progress. Local lockdown in effect until procedure terminates. Coming through. Examination theater compromised. human features onto things they don't understand. The Typhon kill us without hesitation. But it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. You know what we discovered? They lack mirror neurons. All their wonderful abilities, there's one thing we can do that they can't. Empathize with the suffering of another living creature. Coming through. 
Diagnostic check. Verbos. IFF. Nominal power load. Phenomenal actuators. Nominal tilt handling error. Please contact engineering. This isn't the first time a Typhon organism has broken containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial Neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating, but Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you began implementing secret contingencies, hiding the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol. Your concerns have proven to be correct.
find anything good in that armory? Well, I was gonna give you the code, but I guess you don't need it. Still, I sure would have pre- My name's Aaron. Aaron Ingram. Hey. What are you reading? A rap sheet, huh? Look, I'm telling you, on my mama's grave, that is a stack of lies meant to make pushing that button easier on you. Okay, fine. Listen. I want to be honest. Some of it probably is true. I've done some wrong in my days. This ain't right, now. Come on, y'all got to let me out of here. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend. Now you're the one person that showed me any real kindness, and you can believe I won't forget it. Listen, you running any other fellas wearing a green jumpsuit? Watch your ass. Well, they ain't all decent human beings like me. I seen one of the other volunteers come through here, a big guy. The bastard wouldn't let me out. Now I'm glad he didn't. Watched him bash some poor sucker's head in with a wrench. Kept going on and on about black eggs and whatnot. Real disturbed. I never did anything to those kids. I was just getting them out of a bad spot, that's all. The real criminals, they didn't like how I was chipping away at their pile of rubles. They got their claws sunk deep in the government got me shipped off to the gulag. That's how I ended up here, see? You look kind of familiar. You sure you ain't been here before? but when do you think we'll get to that breach? I meant it out there as we speak. What do you think happened? Hard to say until I lay eyes on it. Could be some micrometeoroids bunched a hole. Rare, but it happens. Okay, good. Hopefully it's just that. Is there something you're not telling me? No, of course not. It's just that storage room has classified exotic materials. We really can't have it be inaccessible. Uh-huh. I understand. Auto turrets. Transtar's last ditch defense against an outbreak. Flimsy, but they're easy to fabricate. Best part is the built in psychoscope tech. They can discriminate between alien and human targets. Shouldn't be a problem for you, since you're not an alien. <laughs> 